What's going on everybody? Welcome to another video. This is going to be my 2021 language goals video. So there's going to be a couple of things discussed in this video, obviously language goals, but I also tweeted and posted on Instagram asking if there was any other specific things you'd like to see me talk about within my goals, maybe something that I wouldn't think of. Um, and there were a couple of things that people mentioned as well, which we will get into um, after we talk about languages. Mainly it, it's like health related stuff. And there's another one about balancing language goals with other life goals, family, career, that kind of thing. So uh, it's all going to be related. Um, but anyway, so I, I did get a couple of things like that. And also asking about new methods and stuff like that. So um, first and foremost, 2021 will consist of primarily Japanese. Um, if you've been watching my channel, uh, I've just been going through a little bit of crazy stuff the last month or two. Um, and you've probably seen the videos and stuff where I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. Am I going to stick with this? Am I going to stick with that? Um, but the answer is yes, because I always come back to Japanese, except this time it's not even coming back. I just never left. Um, I did take a week off, but I've studied Japanese every day since April 1st, except for a one week period where I, I literally just took off. Um, and I love it. Um, and I feel honestly, like when I took that break, it really, really helped me because it made me like, when I came back, there was stuff that just made sense. Like, honestly, I think I just needed that little mental break. But, um, so the goal for 2021 is very simple. It is to continue my Japanese and to continue bettering it and to be able to understand more and more every day and go along with that. So um, the other thing that I am going to do is I'm going to uh, try to dabble a little bit in Chinese and several reasons for it. Uh, but number one, um, I started doing a little bit of work for Xiaoma and he gave me access to his Chinese course, which is not out yet. Um, but I told him like, uh, cause I was helping him do something uh, with that. And I told him that I was going to, I was going to go through his course um, and just kind of do a review of it. That doesn't mean I'm going to study it every day or do it every day, but I am going to do it enough to finish that course um, and kind of see where I'm at. And it's not going to take a lot of time away from my Japanese because the reason that I would be learning this or attempting to learn it is for different reasons than learning Japanese. My goal with Japanese is to be able to understand all the stuff being spoken to me within media that I'm seeing, uh, Japanese wrestling, movies, music, stuff like that that I enjoy, the occasional anime if I feel weird that day. Um, and so that's the goal there. It's more about comprehension um, as to where, I'm not saying I don't want to comprehend Chinese, but my goal with Chinese would simply be to you know, if I order takeout from down the road, like be able to just say a couple of little subtle things, like just a couple of little phrases. So it's completely different, um, but whatever. Anyway, so that's the other goal for that. I don't really have anything else for Chinese. Like it's, uh, I'm not gonna be doing like lingo deer or anything like that. Like it's pretty much just gonna be following Shama's course and um, I don't know, see, see what can happen. So uh, that is going to be it in that regard. But with Japanese, that is going to be every day, hours a day, uh, passive listening at work, uh, active immersion with um, movies, TV, you know, all that stuff at home. But I am going to be using um, a little bit of uh, like a Duolingo and stuff. And it's because I've been using it maybe one or two lessons a day. Sometimes not. Uh, my I don't have like a streak. Like it's always streaky because I don't really care about streaks and stuff. But the thing that I found about Duolingo is as my Japanese has gotten better, going through Duolingo from a stance of I already know everything it's teaching at, up to the point that I'm at, but it's helping me see those kanji in a couple of different like situations. And it's actually helping me understand it a little bit more uh, and be able to recognize it uh, and things like that. So honestly, for that purpose, just for a reading purpose, uh, I think it's cool. Now, I know the argument there is why would you not just read other material? And it's because with Duolingo, I can target that specific set of kanji or whatever that I wanna learn or what I need improvement on and specifically stick to sentences with that. And it's just a much easier thing. I could go out and search sentences and stuff, but if we're talking just, I wanna do it, I have a quick five minutes, it's what I'm gonna do. So um, I am, uh, I'm probably, 
I'm also I'm still going to use Link, but Link is going to be primarily for finding videos with subtitles and more so for studying transcripts of things, TV shows and stuff. Um, the reading thing, just I don't know, man. We'll we'll see. So I do have a subscription to Satori Reader, uh, but I, I haven't used it that that much. So uh, we'll see kind of how that goes. We'll play. I, I've used it and I think it's really great. But again, as as I've mentioned before. Uh, reading is just something that's, I don't know. So, uh, and I know that that contradicts my past point of doing Duolingo for the purpose of reading, but I honestly think that once I can understand and read easier, it will make me want to read more, if that makes sense. So we're kind of banking on that. So, um, that is, that's just about it. Uh, and that honestly kind of branches into the new methods and things that I'm tossing. Uh, one of the things I'm tossing is the Japanese pod series. Um, although it is, I do find it to be really, really useful. Uh, I do think that I can spend a little bit better time elsewhere. Um, and I think that I can get some of the grammar purposes in a lot less boring of a manner. Um, because the whole purpose behind my original stint with Japanese pod was to import the dialogues and stuff. And while that was great for a little bit, it was just a bit too much to do. Like as tour, I could just go and watch a TV show and it was actual dialogue from something entertaining and not a made up story about whatever the situation may be. So that's probably something I'll be getting rid of. Plus the cost of it. I just don't feel like paying for it. Um, and yeah, that's, I think that's pretty much, I mean, that's pretty much it, man. It's, there's not going to be a whole lot that's changed. I do need to get back to being better with Anki. Um, I do plan on um, trying to sentence mine. It's I, I actually was doing that right before I started recording this video, and I don't know, man. It's like it's, I still have sh still have some trouble with it, uh, and I think it's just because my vocabulary is so limited, and that's kind of on me. Uh, one thing this year that I really want to do is be more more um, proactive with my immersion and not kind of just sit on it and just, you know, just kind of watch it and let it go in one or out the other. Um, I do pay attention, but I definitely want to pay attention more and be more, like I said, more active about it, more proactive about it, looking up more words constantly and things like that. And I think that that will help more. And, you know, again, that's, that's more so on me, but, um, I, I'm still happy with what I've accomplished this year in Japanese, but, I also know that I, I could probably be a little bit better if I would have just been a little more proactive, but, um, you know, you, you live and you learn. And I think that's just one of those things of everybody ad adjusting to their own thing. Cause it was already kind of uncomfortable for me going from studying a language for a week and then jumping to this one for a week and then jumping to this one to doing eight months of just nothing but the same language. So, um, that's just going to take a little bit of time and, uh, I need to get, I need to get better about that. So, uh, that's pretty much it. I don't have any intentions as of right now of taking a JLPT test. It's just not something that I have interest in because it doesn't line up with the goals that I have for Japanese of understanding material and stuff. So whatever. Um, for grammar purposes, because that was the main reason that I was going to do um, the grammar in, uh, for Japanese pod, uh, I'm going to bite the bullet and, and spend 15-ish minutes a day Honestly, probably each day go through a chapter of Tai Kim and just suck it up, man. I've been fighting this for eight months and I mean, I could have already finished it and would have been fine or at least had not, not fine, but I would have had some probably better, uh, some sort of better understanding about a language or about the grammar, I should say. So I'm probably just going to do that, man, and just suck it up and bite the bullet and do it. Um, it's not something that I enjoy, but it is something I think that I do need a little bit of structured guidance. I know that the the community is like, oh, just keep watching and stuff will stick in. But uh, I'm, I'm not saying I disagree with that. I have no room to disagree because it's not like I speak Japanese. But I do think that for somebody like me, a little bit of structure, I've had this conversation with somebody even recently, just a little bit of structure is uh, very helpful to me. So um, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do that. Just try. And honestly, I'm going to start with the beginning. I'm not going to try to figure out where I was in Tai Kim. Oh, where am I? I know this. Let's skip. Like, I'm just going to gloss over the whole have the hiccups, uh, gloss over like the whole thing and, um, try to make it work. So that's pretty much it with my goals. Like I said, Japanese is the 100% focus this year, uh, with the exclusion of a little bit of, um, you know, a little bit of, of Chinese with uh Xiaomi's course, but, um, which honestly leads me into another goal. And that, this is more so related to my channel. And that is 
collaboration type stuff. Um, and I'm going to be doing more interviews again, uh, getting that started back up. I guess we'll call it a season two, maybe. Um, and I've already got some people lined up for that. And then uh, maybe have a little bit of repeat guests on uh, and things like that. And just continue to work with people in the community, sharing stories of learning and, and how people got into it. So that's, that's another goal, uh, not language related, but it's related to my channel. So uh, going into the goals that people asked me about, which is, um, uh, so I, I discussed the new methods and things that, that I'm tossing basically within that first little bit. Um, so the next one's gonna be balancing language goals with other life goals, uh, family, career, and, and then health being um, the last part. And that was the, that was the other thing everybody wanted goals on was health. Um, so as far as balancing language goals with other, uh, life goals, family, career. So with other life goals, uh, it's within the last few months, I have done a better job at making time for things that I want to do. Um, I am a huge, like avid writer. Um, I've wrote, uh, probably a dozen screenplays, I've worked on movies in the past and movie and filmmaking is something that has always been something that has interested me. Um, I worked on my first movie back in 2009 and uh, I've written movies since, I mean, since I was in middle school, like it's something that I've always done. I mean, 20 plus years that I've done, um, that I've done this. And so uh, realistically, I've always said I wanted to make a movie. Um, but I think right now that just the goal is to just write a little bit more and try to find something that I could film pretty easily um, around here with myself or whatever. And so um, that's one thing I'm going to try to do better at is making a little bit more time for that because language is something that I love. But again, this is a hobby, just like filmmaking is a hobby. And I don't want to completely neglect that. Um, just because of languages. So um, that's something I'm going to try to make a little bit more time for, uh, maybe even once a week, just sitting down and being like, you know what, um, I've done four hours of passive immersion, and I have two hours of active study or whatever. So you know what, I I'm going to forego this last hour of immersion, and I'm going to write a little bit or just try to brainstorm some ideas. So that's something as far as life goals go. Um, as far as family, I mean, uh, it's probably going to be the same thing. Um, when I get home from work, it will be no language until my son goes to bed. That's just, again, um, I've mentioned that in the past. If you're new to this channel, um, I can just re -explain. basically, I mean, I have a, a son that just turned four and I refuse to put anything above him. I'm not saying I willingly put stuff above my wife. I'm just saying like, that's kind of our time together. So um, I will never have like this crazy study time because, you know, the first three or four hours when I get home from work are going to be dedicated uh, to him. So that's going to continue. I'm not going to definitely not going to sacrifice any time for uh, with him to study language or write or any of that stuff. So um, that's pretty much going to stay the same. Uh, as far as career goes, again, um, I don't really do. The only thing I do while I'm at work is I, I, I can listen to stuff at work. So I do passive listen, but it's not really anything that uh, would affect what I'm doing. And then comes the big one, which is health. And that is uh, simply, I just need to get healthier. Um, I've been doing better recently, dietary wise. Uh, and then I'll slip up, but that's just kind of the, you know, uh, <laughs> the constant circle that is my life. Um, but I, I have started doing a little bit of exercise as well. And I would ideally like to exercise uh, between 20 and 30 minutes a few times a week. Um, I don't really have a pound goal or anything like that. Um, but as things like that happen, I will gladly update you guys just within videos. Like at the end of videos, maybe it can be just a little small segment of, oh yeah, I've lost this or lost that. So, because my main goal in within my health isn't necessarily to lose weight, although you can look at me and tell that that's probably something I need to do. But my goal realistically is to drop my body fat percentage and maintain some sort of muscle mass and or gain a little. I'm not trying to be jacked, but Obviously, I could probably stand to build muscle and lose a pretty substantial amount of fat. So um, that's pretty much the goal there. Uh, I don't really want to talk a whole lot about diet and stuff because people get so up in arms about what other people eat. So I'm just going to 
leave that one there. I don't care what you eat. I don't care what kind of diet you follow. If it works for you, that's cool. But for some reason, it really bothers people when other people talk about things that they eat, whether they eat meat or they don't eat meat or they eat intermittent fast or they don't intermittent fast or whatever they eat gluten they don't eat gluten it just it seems to really mess with people so i'm not even going to really discuss that it's just i'm working on my diet what is correct for me i'm working with a nutritionist and we will kind of see where it goes so um i think that is pretty much it i mean that's pretty much my goal is just japanese 100 percent sticking with kind of you know making sure i'm getting back on track with the immersion thing um i recently had a skype thing with matt kind of getting you know back on track with that stuff i'm getting into using the migaku web extension which is super helpful if i can just do it um and just continuing down the path of that so um thank you guys so much for watching i hope everybody enjoyed if you have if, if you're doing a goals video or whatever feel free to tag me on twitter or instagram send it to me i love watching other people's goals or at least listening to the video um yeah, and, and, and seeing what other people are doing. I, I love hearing that because sometimes it can give you ideas as well. So as always, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And um, I think that's it, guys. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you all in the next video.